I found my Prion, a timeless classic. But what does it mean? It was finally discovered in 1996 that a Prion, a combination of the words protein and infectious, was the cause of various transmissible spongiform encephalopathies. These encephalopathies turn the brain into a sponge-like mess and are thought to be transmitted by cannibalism. Evidence for this theory comes from the people of Papua New Guinea, who were dying from a type of transmissible spongiform encephalopathy called Kuru before they stopped practicing cannibalism. Other evidence comes from mink and from sheep, which get a form of transmissible spongiform encephalopathy called scrapie. But the most well-known form is bovine spongiform encephalopathy, or mad cow disease, which killed many cows in England. Cows are ruminant animals, which means they have a type of digestive system that includes a rumen stomach organ, which is best suited to digesting grass. Farmers who raise cows for meat, however, can get them to grow faster by feeding them grains, such as corn, and animal proteins, even though this requires the farmers to give the cows antibiotics to keep them from getting sick. For many years, cows were fed animal proteins from rendering plants that grind up dead animals, including other cows. This probably caused the outbreak of mad cow disease, and eating beef from those cows probably caused people to die from Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease. No case of mad cow disease has ever been discovered in the United States, even though U.S. cows were also fed other cows. Now it may be that cows only get mad cow disease from eating uncooked cows or cow brains. But if that's true, how do people get Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease from eating meat from cows with mad cow disease? In fact, the causes of mad cow and Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease are not well understood. Today, federal USDA regulations prohibit the feeding of most mammalian protein to cows. However, cows in the U.S. can still be fed blood and cooked meat as well as pig and horse meat. So we finally now understand what that old Fats Domino song was all about. Yeah. 